Hello, my name is Tom Stiles and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. What you're looking at is another antenna I got oh, about a month ago. Haven't had a chance to put it up because of the bad weather and all those tree trees that have engulfed my antenna farm. But uh, as you saw from the previous video, that's been cleared out so we're going to make some progress here. I'm going to um, just show you what this is right now and I'm going to set the camera down and you're probably looking at who knows what why it's sitting down until I get the thing out of the box which is not hard to do it's just simply inside this triangular shaped box hold on Stand by, I'm, I'm taking the uh, wrapping off with a connector in so you can see the connector. Should have brought something to cut it with. Oh my gosh, I thought this would be easy. You know, it's something I never can remember is to carry a knife with me because I'm always needing one. I'm always forgetting to carry one of these. Okay. That's good enough. Okay, we're going to set this down here. I'm going to set it down so you can see the connector. Okay, man, I'm not doing a very good job. Okay, I'm back. I don't know what you saw the last five minutes, but I hope I didn't embarrass myself too much. So, anywhere, anywhere. Anyway, there's the antenna. Got this off of eBay. And I think it is basically what I've seen called a broomstick antenna, although it's a little different. And the concept is you take some wire and you closely wrap it around a broomstick, and that gives you. Uh, a vertical antenna that doesn't take any much up much space and what the uh, the gentleman who's putting these together did is I'm guessing because I don't know what's inside it um, is he did that he uh, got a dowel wrapped uh, wire around it closely wrapped it and uh, then stuck it in this piece of PVC and added a connector on the end and the big question is going to be how well this antenna performs. It's not going to perform as well as if you took that wire and stretched it out um, straight so that there's uh, more area for it to receive the signal. It's not going to work as good as that, I don't believe. But the idea is that it's compact. And in his ad, matter of fact, he shows this hanging on a front porch. And the connector, if I can get it to zoom in and there's enough light, zoom is that direction. There is the connector. I gotta hold steady here. That is a F type connector. And I, I'm not sure why. He uh, put it out the side there, except of course that's the way the windings will end up, is pointing off to the side. But that means there's going to be some drag, side drag, when you put the coax on there. Um, I don't want to put another connector that a L-shaped connector on there because that's just more attenuation. So we'll see. The other thing I was kind of disappointed is that it's not a big deal. Is there's there's no way to mount this thing. I was hoping at the top 
since I think the concept is to hang this, I was hoping at the top he would have put a hook in that top cap, that top PVC cap, to, that you could attach a rope to or whatever and hang it. And that's what I plan on doing. I plan on hanging it in the trees, which is not the best idea, but I don't know where else to hang it that I can get it up high. So that's, that's what I'm going to try. It's basically just an experiment to see how well this works. Um, the other antenna I was thinking about getting was one of those slinky antennas. But after talking to uh, another YouTuber that's into radios, who's very uh, up to speed about antennas, he told me all the uh, shortfalls of the slinky antenna. And so I just held off on that one and chose this one instead of the linky, linky, slinky, ah, slinky, slinky antenna. And we'll try this one first. So um, it may take me a while to get this one up because I want to get my little disc cone, or not disc cone, I keep calling it a disc cone. It's not a disc cone antenna. It's a ground plane antenna. I'm going to get that up first. And of course, I have to wait till my little handyman neighbor comes over and gets up on the roof and installs these for me because I'm not allowed on the roof anymore since I'm an old fart. So that's the show for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.